What's up guys, today in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you how to connect this Xbox controller to your Windows 10 PC two ways. One is connecting it wirelessly, and the other is by using a cable, so I'm going to be showing you both ways. So let's start off with the wireless way, which I think most of you will want to do. Um, so, sign into your computer, so type in my password, and uh, the wireless way is make sure your Xbox is flashing like this. You can see the Xbox logo is flashing like that. Make sure it is flashing at that speed and, and the way you do that is turn on your Xbox uh, remote and press that button at the top and then it will start flashing like that. And now it's in pairing mode and then what you're going to do on your PC is click on the start menu. Wait a minute. Okay. Click on the start menu and go into settings you can see. And then go into devices and then if your device is not already here uh, then click on add Bluetooth or other device and then select Bluetooth and then it will show up here this is not the right one um, I don't know where the Xbox is um, I'm gonna keep holding this down okay so it's in pairing mode and there it is it should say input that is the Xbox controller and it should show a controller logo what you're gonna do is click on that and then it will start connecting and then there you go your device is ready to go and then it will stop flashing now your device is connected and you can play any game you want but what if you do not want to pair it what if you just want to uh, connect it wired so what you're going to do is uh, you don't have to have it in pairing mode I'll just put it out of pairing mode so it doesn't conflict with it uh, get a cable specifically a micro USB to USB cable you're going to need that and what you're going to do I recommend this cable to be at least what four feet long to it be able to good I guess uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take your Xbox controller and plug it into that cable there so I needed two hands to do this so I'm going to put my camera right here um, so then yep so you're going to take this end of the cable right there and then plug it in to your Xbox right there just right there and then you have connected the cable successfully as you can see, cable is connected. You're going to take this end of the cable and plug it into a USB port on your PC. So I have a Mac running Windows, so I do have a USB port. I, I have an older Mac, so 2017 MacBook Air. I don't know where the USB, there it is. So here's the USB port. And then you'll hear your Xbox shake, and then you can see the logo stops flashing. And then we're going to test it out with a Minecraft game. So I'm going to go into Minecraft, and we're going to test it out if this actually works. Um, so you can see it's loading now. And the logo should stop flashing after you connect it. So let me show you that this method is actually legit, and that this actually works. So... I'm going to load up a uh, world in Minecraft. I'm not using the controller currently. I'm just using my magic mouse, as you can see. And there we go. So we're going to test it out if this actually works or not. Um, so, so here's the controller. It is plugged in to the computer. And it is connected to the computer, as you can see with the cable right there. And now we're in the world, we can start walking around. As you can see, I'm not touching the keyboard, I'm touching the Xbox controller. And we can also move around like that, as you can see. So we can do this. As you can see, we are moving the stick. And it's also moving the game, as you can see. And we can go ahead and punch something. As you can see, we can punch. You can move around hot bars and I was walking around working perfectly fine and that is the tutorial so I hope you guys enjoyed the video smash a like and I guess I'll see you guys later goodbye